It's 2.20 on March 31st, the last day of March, and we're down on the KMP Trail just south of Merton Road. Gonna head south for a couple hours, probably. We just had a rain belt pass through. It's an amazing 12 degrees out. It was actually 14 on the way down in the sun, but uh, now I'm back under the clouds again, so a bit cooler. So as you can see, the trail's nice and bare here. It's damp, so a bit soft, but otherwise looking pretty good. Well, as fate would have it, the rain hasn't thoroughly passed through yet, so we're out in a bit of a shower right now. Hopefully it's gonna pass through pretty quickly, but it's looking awful gray off to the west. As you can see here, maybe it's going to form off to the west again and hit us hopefully not we could get a bit damp if that happens just coming up to orser road here and we have been out in rain fairly heavy rain for the last few minutes but i think it is clearing up a bit to the west a few signs of brightness peeking through So the trail's virtually all bare, just the odd little piece of snow here and there. It's damp and soft, certainly because it's raining right now, but it's probably still recovering a bit from winter too, so it'll be soft for a while, but I did have a couple cyclists go by me and they were cruising along. Well, I certainly made the wrong decision heading south to this location. The rain's been on and off constantly since I've been here. It, on the radar, it looks like it's south of here, but uh, we still got some pretty dark skies all around us and it's raining fairly good right now. And then it'll let up, making you want to push on further, thinking it's ending, but then it comes again. Oh well, this will just be a walk in the rain, I guess. I like walking in the rain as long as you don't get too soaked. So far, it's not really soaking us to the skin while the dogs are pretty damp, especially Zoe with her thin coat. But Luna has a tough double coat, so she's okay. Very black off to the southwest there. I swear there was a thunderstorm coming or something. Certainly heavy rain at times. Getting to the point where I'm considering turning around. I had wanted to make this a fairly long walk, but it's not really much fun like this. Okay, just recheck the radar and it looks like another big mess of rain is heading our way it's already here I guess but uh, so I'm turning around I'm heading back 
it may not be clearing up for some time and there's no sense just uh, getting soaked and more soaked. Absolutely miserable out right now. Jeez. Hard to believe when I left it was semi sunny and looking optimistic. And now all the heavens have broke loose here. Probably see how wet I am. Of course, as I head north now, the skies to the west are brightening up. I can see the end of the cloud, so I guess I could have kept walking south, but it was really looking like it wasn't going to end anytime soon. And I'm fairly thoroughly soaked now, anyhow, so I'll get back and get into some dry clothes. Yeah. Have a good day. Did you, did you, did you miss the rain? Ah, uh, nope. nope. <laughs> 3.13 in the afternoon and of course, just as we're getting back towards the car eventually here, the skies clear up. Birds are singing. And we're heading back to the car. Oh well. Still kind of dark down there, but... We managed to get about five kilometers in, so not a total waste. And Zoe, she's all wet, as you can see with her matted hair style here. Luna's just a little bristly, a little matted. This is what I was hoping the whole walk would be like. Oh well. You can't always get what you want, I guess. You can't always get what you want. So just coming up to the end of our hike here and uh, it's about 3.30 I think head back home it's looking gray again off to the west I think there's some more cells forming over there so the rain may not be done with us anyhow so good enough to get out of here not every trip can be a jewel I guess anyhow signing off for now catch you later